Please encourage me to create new videos. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. In this video, we are going to compare two basic ways of thread creation. Extending thread class versus runnable interface. For better understanding of this video, please refer my previous videos in this playlist, which are creating threads by extending the thread class and the other one is creating threads by implementing the runnable interface. I will be explaining first difference with the help of small code example. Now I am explaining the section extending the thread class. You can see that I have created the class my thread that extends the thread class. By this way, we have created the customized thread. Then we are overriding the run method and this run method contains the task logic. Now I have created the object of my thread class which is the customized thread class. After that I started the thread of my thread class by calling the start method. Now I am explaining the section of implementing the runnable interface. You can see that I have created the class my runnable that implements the runnable interface. You can see in the code that I have created the object or instance of my runnable. You can consider this instance of my runnable as task. For running this task, we have created the thread and passed the task to the constructor of this thread. After that, I started the thread created in the above line by using the start method. Just listen carefully and understand. We have created the task when we implement the runnable interface. And when we extend the thread class, we create the customized thread. Just refer and compare lines of code of creating the thread by extending the thread class and the thread that are created by implementing the runnable interface. Now I will be explaining the second difference which is customized thread creation and task creation. Now I am explaining the section extending the thread class. When we extend the thread class, customized thread assuming name as my thread is created that inherits all the properties and method of the thread class. You can see the above code and check the steps. Start method is there in this customized thread class and we can directly use it. Now I am explaining the section of implementing the runnable interface. When we implement the runnable interface, a task assuming name as my runnable is created. Task assuming name as my runnable does not have the start method. We need to create the thread separately and pass the task to it. You can see the above code and check the steps. Now I will be explaining the third difference which is thread pool compatibility. Now I am explaining the section extending the thread class. Customized thread assuming name as my thread created above is not compatible with thread pool frameworks like executor framework. You will get better understanding once we start to cover executor framework in later videos. Now I am explaining the section implementing the runnable interface. Task assuming name as my runnable created above is compatible with thread pool frameworks like executor framework. Now I will be explaining the fourth difference which is flexibility. Now I am explaining the section extending the thread class. When we extend the thread class, we cannot extend multiple classes as Java does not support multiple inheritance. Now I am explaining the section implementing the runnable interface. By implementing the runnable interface, we can support multiple interfaces 
offering more flexibility. Please encourage me to create new videos. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.